A very interesting set of by-election uh, results. Some of them uh, surprising, some of them not so surprising. Uh, absolutely no doubt the Tories have suffered some pretty bruising uh, results overnight, though these were largely expected. But nevertheless, you know, when you look at Selby and Ainsey, that is an absolutely mammoth uh, swing to Labour. And you would have thought uh, Conservative MPs, many of them would be very, very worried looking at that result. Also, Somerton and Frome, you've got Lib Dems gaining there a huge swing uh, over 50% of the vote. Reform struggling to break through in those seats, though they did beat the Lib Dems in one and beat Labour in another. But as I wrote about today over at heaver.news, do go and check out my newsletter, guys, to get that delivered to your inbox. I'll put a link down below to it as well. You know, my feeling still is that the next government after the next general election uh, will be Labour led, but propped up by the Lib Dems, possibly the Greens and SNP as well. Because when you look at Uxbridge and South Ryslip, you see Labour beaten there, the Tories narrowly, very narrowly holding on to that seat. Lawrence Fox, of course, stood for reclaim, said he's very pleased to have come forth and beating the Lib Dems there. But that's a bit of a blow for Labour. What worked in the Conservatives' favour clearly was uh, London Mayor Sadiq Khan's ULEZ agenda because the Conservative councillor and candidate and the man who will now become the MP for that seat, Steve Tuckwell, uh, making very clear that this was a by-election uh, to show Sadiq Khan he cannot expand ULEZ into Hillingdon. And that clearly uh, helped the Conservatives in this by-election. So Labour stopped there. And also, uh, interesting to note, that in Swindon, there was a by-election as well. The Conservatives and Labour went head-to-head. -head, and that was actually another Labour defeat. The Conservatives gaining that seat from Labour. So some very bad results for the Tories. Absolutely no doubt about that whatsoever. But don't think that Labour are running away with the next general election uh, quite yet. A couple of disappointing results for them as well. I will keep bringing you all the latest, of course. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.